This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news. Spark up your dinner routine with a different ingredient. You know, coffee can actually add a unique flavor to all kinds of entrees. Chef Steven Petashevsky, hey. <laughs> he joins us this morning for the National Coffee Association. We're so glad to have you with us. Good morning, Stephen. Coffee's something good to talk about this time in the morning, I think, perfect? you know. But I never thought about cooking with coffee. Well, a lot of people haven't. And the interesting thing, Jose, is that over the course of the past year, all of these scientific studies have come out from major universities mm -hmm. showing that the, the chemicals in coffee, ha it's loaded with antioxidants more than blueberries and broccoli and all the other foods you've been hearing about. Mm -hmm. And that caffeine also has some beneficial effects. So these studies are amazing, and that's why I'm working with coffee today. Well, so we're always thinking about drinking the coffee, but Absolutely. eating it. Yeah. Well, this is something a little different. You'll see. I mean, the amazing thing is they're finding out these studies show that, that the caffeine and the phytochemicals or the plant-based chemicals in coffee right. beans are, are um, very beneficial to even preventing things like Parkinson's disease, diabetes, these two, wow. uh, cirrhosis and so cancer of the liver. So when you about cooking with coffee, you, you ground coffee, coffee with yes. coffee beans, the liquid? Yeah, actually, yeah. everything you see here, for example, mm -hmm. this tuna steak I took, uh -huh. I ground fresh coffee beans. Ground it up here. And I mixed it, it with a lot of other aromatic spices. And believe me, I've been traveling on planes with this, but you can oh, smell it. It's yeah, amazing, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's got cinnamon and clove and mm -hmm. star anise and peppercorns, and it gives it a lot of great flavor. So what I'm doing is you I'm coated, searing. You coated it with that. Yeah, just dredge okay. it right in here. Okay. I'm searing it, which gives it a lot of flavor and a beautiful color, too. Oh, it smells. Oh, and you can yeah. see I have one here uh -huh. that I just seared in the pan. I'll turn this off so I don't set off the fire alarms here. <laughs> but it smells so good. Yeah. It's a little well, aroma. that's the whole thing. It's got a great flavor, mm -hmm. too. And also the, you know, the beneficial uh, elements to it make it just something that we should explore. And it's really easy to work with in the kitchen. Okay, okay. It's, it's the same as using any other kind of spice. That, that makes a lot but, of sense. Makes a lot but, of sense. Yeah, everybody knows about green tea and, mm -hmm. and, the, and the chemicals in green tea, but coffee has four times the amount of antioxidants. But it's is really it too powerful, the aroma and the taste? Well, I mean, it, it depends on how you use it. I mean, you'll, you'll see when you taste this that... Can I taste this? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's why I seared it. I hope you like it rare. Mm -hmm. But this is like, you know, it gives it a really wonderful... Oh, yeah. I don't know. I mean... You, oh, yeah, you can taste that yeah, little, I mean, little bit of punch. Yeah, it's a little bit of... Uh -huh. And you're not quite sure what it is. I don't know if you've, uh, you know, you've had mole before. Yes, yes, yes. Well, there's that little taste that you get from the chocolate. Uh-huh. Well, that's kind of what you get with the coffee. It's this aromatic, underlying flavor that that's you're not amazing. sure what it is. But it's got great flavor. And, and this is a salad you prepare. Yeah, absolutely. We put the sear tuna over this. And by the way, when you, when you eat the seared tuna, not only are you getting all the flavor, but you're getting all those health benefits. That is healthy. You know, the tuna is one of the healthiest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sugar. So we have tons of protein. Plus, uh -huh. on the salad here, I have edamame, which is, you know, soy protein. Oh, wow. These are soybeans like you get in Japanese Judy would love that. Oh, this is all for soy. you. Trust me. Mm -hmm. So we have that. We also have the, um, you know, radishes mm -hmm. and a little bit of mm -hmm. sweet from the apricot. I'm just going to put a little bit of sesame soy vinaigrette. Now, this also has a little bit of black coffee in it. And the, and so the vinaigrette. And the vinaigrette. So you're getting a kind of a double dose here. You know? So, okay, now this is the, the liquid coffee you put in the vinaigrette. Yeah, put the liquid right? coffee okay. here and the solid coffee here, but uh -huh. it's the same benefits whether you use decaffeinated or regular. Uh -huh. It's the same chemicals in it, same antioxidants as well, so you can wow. use either or. So this is the kind of salad you could use at 5 o'clock in the morning, right? So how can we get, <laughs> how can we get uh, information about different kinds of ingredients, I mean, different ways you can use coffee? Sure. Well, I mean, I think there's, you know, you can go to the coffee website. I'm sure that you probably have that. Uh, we'll have a link, we'll have a link yeah. to our website. You're going to have a link on your website, mm -hmm. and that, that gives you recipes and also beneficial information about it, so you're, there's no questions anymore. Well, this is, this is new. This is new and fascinating. Yeah, I Another appreciate way, it. You know, this is a coffee time of day, so <laughs> we want sure to carry it off through the rest of the day. Stephen, thank yeah. you so much for Thanks being so with us. Today. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Come back by. Show will, us some more sure. stuff. Right. Well. Again, you can find the recipe on our website, abc7chicago.com, and a link to the website. Judy? Coffee-crusted tuna. Yeah, All right. Too. Yeah, that's interesting. Thanks.